John Report. I'm John. Here's my report. Well, a story on Tacoma's beleaguered Ivan the Gorilla aired on NBC's Today Show this week, and the story turned out well with only three viewers noticing when Ivan's picture was inadvertently substituted with that of movie reviewer Gene Shalit. <laughs> The Seattle Times announced Friday that starting in November, it'll offer free voice personal ads. Now, one doubtful staffer was heard to remark, I don't know about this, do we really want Times readers to intermarry? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Senator Bob Packwood is under increasing pressure to, uh, to turn his personal diary over to Senate Ethics Committee. Packwood claims the diary primarily contains inside political information, citi citing as an example an entry which says, I carefully considered the pros and cons of the energy development appropriations issue as I stroked her creamy white thighs. <laughs> the city of Tacoma is planning to build a museum to honor world-famous glass artist Dale Chihuly. It'll be Chihuly's first ever exi exhibition of bulletproof glass. <laughs> a medical, a medical report shows that measles have almost entirely disappeared in the United States. However, the same report says that weasels are still plentiful as much of a nuisance as ever. Canada's newly elected Prime Minister, John Christian, is already making some tough new demands on the United States. He says that if Clinton expects Canada to go along with the NAFTA deal, the U.S. better damn well start buying some more Gordon Lightfoot albums. <laughs> a new, a new European-style coffee house called Zio Rico will open this week in downtown Seattle. The coffee house will feature stained cherrywood leather, chairs, hand-woven rugs, and waitresses with plenty of body hair. Finally! <laughs> Seattle's newest public art called Wall of Death was recently unveiled on the Burke Gilman Trail. The installation followed several failed projects by the artist, including his original concept, Face of Death. <laughs> this has been the John Report. Thank you. We'll be right back.